Hello there YouTube. Today I'm going to be showing you how to glitch audio. Um, one way that I do it, one way that works really well for me. I'm using a sample instrument and uh, this is just one example of many different things um, you can you can glitch. I'm doing vocals from a song called uh, the Sound of My Voice by Big Chocolate. Um, I'll give you the link in the description to the song and the link to where you can get the, the stems to the full song. Uh, they're on my website and that's the only place you can get them right now. So I'm going to show you how to take something like this and like edit it a little bit, make it a little bit more expressive. <laughs> So take something like that and then use it to make more expressive vocal lines. Sounds a little bit disjointed without a beat, but uh, with drums under it, it sounds really awesome. So I'll show you basically what you have to do. Uh, we can clear this out since actually I'll keep it there. Um, just move this below. Uh, what you want to do is you just want to uh, open the audio file in Finder. I have it right here, uh, Vocal Effects, and you just want to drag it into the project, like so, and it'll create the audio file like that. But since we already have it here, uh, we don't have to do that. I just thought I would show you. Um, so what you're going to want to do is you want to find the region, uh, which for this song, if you time stretch it to 170 BPM, is at the 57 mark, is the region that I'm using. So you can find that. Or it's at the, I think it's the second drop. Yeah, uh, that, they, that this vocal comes up. And what you want to do is you want to do a loop region right around the part that you want. So you can set up a loop so that it just goes around like that. That's basically the first thing that you want to do. And then you want to get the slice tool. And the quickest way to get there is to press escape and then press five. And the numbers on the side correspond with the tool you want. And this, uh, the scissor tool is right there. And it's number five, so I just press escape five like super fast to get it. And that's one way. Um, so a quick way, instead of slicing this over and over and over again into 32nd notes or 64th notes, uh, what you can do is you can hold option, and that comes up with a little a little plus. So you find the divide mark that you want to that you want to divvy up your selection into and you hold down option to get the plus sign and when you click it'll divide the entire selected region under your loop into whatever division you want and since we don't want samples that big we want them a little bit or a lot smaller um, you go down to something like an eighth note or a thirty second note and then you can slice it like that in nice little chops And then to get back to the pointer tool, just press escape, and then one. So these are nice short little samples. So what I'm going to show you how to do now is how to make the, uh, take those samples and make a sample instrument. Uh, it's pretty simple. Um, it's just like a drag and drop type thing. So you're going to want to press the plus at the top and then go to software instrument and just keep everything the same, uh, two outputs, and click create. It automatically comes up with this little piano thing. That's not what you want. You want to go to your instrument down to the ESX sampler in stereo because the track we're sampling is is originally stereo. The in, the instrument you're going to put them in also has to be stereo. So you select that, and this comes up. This is just a blank preset when you open up a new one, and base you don't really have to do anything with it um, except press edit and change a couple things in the voices I'll show you. Um, so when you press edit, this is what comes up. 
and all you have to do is you have to select your regions take solo off and then drag them in and then it asks you what note width like how how many how many notes do you want it to last for each individual sample and what note do you want it to start on and we we should you can just say C1 and there they are so these are all our different samples so what you want to do is you want to select all of them just go down like that hold shift and select them all and then you want to take off pitch because what that does is it it makes it so that where you put the where you put the note if you have two of them in the same sample instrument it'll it'll change the pitch of it so you don't want that in relation to each other um, you want them to be one shot and if you want to reverse them you can uh, specific ones you can do that so now you save the instrument so you go to save or save as and let's just say example vocal instrument and just press save and then when you get rid of it what you want to do is you want to do a couple things uh, what this is is this affects the volume that the different velocities are so the highest velocity will be at the maximum volume and then this this like dragger here affects what volume the lowest velocity will be so if you put it the absolute lowest velocity that it determines what volume it will be. So you can either have it so any velocity is the full volume, or that the lowest velocity is negative 48, almost like impossible to hear. So I'll just keep it in the middle because since we're doing glitching, you don't really need to change the volume of stuff that much. Um, the last thing is you want to put the voices down to one, and that makes it so that uh, if you have longer samples, they don't overlap each other when you glitch them. Uh, it makes it so you can only play one note at a time. That's what the voices means. So I think we're pretty much ready to to do our glitching. Um, it it is a lot of notes, so you will have to have a large um, piano roll to edit them. But with that said, um, it's manageable. So. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to place all the notes in order so we have the original vocal line ready to go. Uh, if you remember, it starts at C1, so I'm going to put that note there. Okay, so basically what I did is I set up a MIDI region with the first 24 notes. Wait. One, two, three, four, five. No, the first 32 notes. And then I set up a second one with the second 32 notes that correspond with the original regions. And so now, since you have the, the original uh, vocals in order, you can glitch them and make them more expressive. Um, it's sort of hard to do a tutorial on how to glitch other than to just sort of take notes um, and repeat them with smaller amounts than they already are. So uh, I have 16th notes set up here. So let's let's pick a note and see what sounds right to glitch. That'll sound, that'll sound cool right there. So that's the first one. Uh, sounds pretty good. And the second one, um, we can just do a little bit, and I'll cut back when I when I'm finished. All right, so that's pretty good. Um, this is pretty simple what I'm doing, but uh, it's a good way to add expression and to to remix. Um, the vocal part of a song. I mean, the original track is is glitched already, 
a little bit, but um, I think this way you can add some, some more roboticness to the original song. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly grab some drums to show sort of what this would sound like with some drums and uh, a little bass. So I'll be right back. So I have some drums and I have some bass. Um, I'm at 170, which is drum and bass, so it's fitting. Um, the bass is from the original song, uh, I chopped it up and made a sample instrument, and the drums are also from the original song. So take a listen and let me know what you think. So that's basically how you set up a sample instrument. Let me know if you have any questions. In the comments below, um, I can make a second video with. Uh, I can make a second video with an audio sample that comes with Logic rather than one you have to download. Um, but this this technique applies to anything. So I hope this tutorial has been helpful. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'm going to be mastering my official remix of the song soon, so you should look forward to that. And. I'll play the intro at the end of the video that uses this technique so you can hear how it sounds applied in the context of an actual song. So, yeah, let me know what you think. Uh, check out my website. It's in The link is in the description. And right there you can get Big Chocolate Sample Pack and you can do your own remix of his song. Uh, there have been quite a few already, so and it's been really fun doing this one. I've been working on it for a long time. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed already. Uh, I'll be making a video from now on Tuesday, Thursday, and Saturday for the rest of the summer, unless I'm away. So you can look forward to that, and it would really help sort of my channel grow and help more people with logic which I like doing, so subscribe if you haven't subscribed already, and I will see you on Saturday. Thanks for watching.